You want to know which shampoo brands are family owned and which ones make your hair fall out? I went to Target and I found the real hair care aisle and another one. We have time, we'll even do the little men's aisle here at the end. This game's simple. We're looking for any brand that's not owned by a mega corporation or at least a brand that is not in a class action lawsuit for shampoo that makes your hair fall out. No joke. Starting off with Pantene. Who owns Pantene? Procter & Gamble. And if your top shareholders are a bunch of fund managers and banks, no one gives a shit about a hair product in your aisle. So Pantene looks like that. What about OGX? I accidentally went down this rabbit hole about this Brazilian oil company and I met this billionaire who was an international speedboat champion. He got arrested for like major fraud. He was once worth $32 billion and boasted that he would overtake our buddy Carlos Slim as the richest man in the world by 2015. And then his wealth went from this peak of 32 billion to a negative net worth of over 100% losses. <laughs> Top it all off, he got indicted for a $100 million money laundering scheme, paying off the governor of Rio de Janeiro $16 million. And he is now on a, what, 30 year sentence in prison. And I was like, what is going on? But then I think I realized it was the wrong OGX. And we're talking about a different criminal OGX. That's right, you really can't make this shit up. OGX shampoo is in a class action lawsuit for putting in chemicals that cause hair loss and it's not just them. Oh, and by the way, OGX is owned by Johnson & Johnson. And we have seen this sheet several times before. So now that we're back on track, here's our aisle. Moving down, it's more of the same. Then we scooch on down and we find herbal essences, which is obviously not so herbal. So we'll just color their whole section in red. Ah oh, shit, well we've done this before. We got Unilever. And if you don't know, now you know. And at the end of the aisle, we got Tresemme. Is that French? That must be good for your hair. Yeah, totally. Not to mention that if you were paying attention, you would have realized that Tresemme is also making your hair fall out. So that's aisle number one. Welcome to Target. Okay, aisle number two. We already did Suave. Unilever gave away their North American business to private equity. But fuck them, I'm feeling spicy this morning. We're giving them straight up red. Next we got Garnier Fructis, L'Oreal Group. Oh shit, L'Oreal's family owned, man. Still owned by the Betancourt Myers family. That's so, that's so cool. I mean, L'Oreal can go fuck itself. That ain't cool. Fuck these billionaires. That's right, red. How about Aussie? Yeah, you know the drill. Red. Oh, snap. But now we got all kinds of stuff going on. And by all kinds of stuff, I mean a whole bunch of companies making products that will put the hair back in your head that they already made fall out. These are the ones that we already investigated with their cute little different types of bottles and shit of fake ass drugs to fix the problem that they fucking made. Now we're gonna look into Axe and Vivenna and Nioxin and whatever this stuff is down here in these bottles and this little horsey shit. All right, you ready to speed run this? Let's go, baby. Nioxin. Axe is Unilever. Oh, hey, Viviscal. Church and Dwight, that's new. Psych. Just another mega corporation. Pert Plus is Procter & Gamble. Nexus is Unilever. Next we got this horse shampoo and whatever. Oh, wait a minute. I think that's raw sugar. Damn straight. We already met raw sugar. They are family founder owned. They're legit. Props to Donda. And if you know, then you already know that that horse shampoo is actually the shit and it's owned by the founders and they got some dope ass story and I'm not gonna dig too deep lest I discover something awful about it. I'm, I'm just making fun of them. It's not actually horse shampoo. It's called Mane and Tail. Check it out. So I think we finish off kind of like this. I don't, I don't know what that shit is. All right, moving down into the men's section. This is stuff we already did. Dove, men's, bullshit. Suave, men's, bullshit. I'm just gonna speed run all this all at once. Michiru is owned by Unilever. Old Spice is Procter & Gamble. Got To Be is owned by Schwarzkopf. Schwarzkopf is owned by Henkel. Henkel's ownership is a little different, but don't kid yourself. This is what a mega corporation looks like. Ah, hers is like actually hims and hers. You know, erectile dysfunction pills that some homie started in 2017. We're not gonna dig any deeper. We're just gonna let him have his party. So you can put erectile dysfunction stuff in your hair if you want. Sorry, I'm just playing, Andrew. I'm just playing. Nizarol is owned by Kramer Laboratory. And Kramer Laboratory is having an identity crisis. I'm getting three different answers for my Google search. Turns out it all leads up to Banks Group. That's not promising. And that leads up to some private equity owned by Bart Becht. $30 billion worth of private equity. But when in doubt, just type in your trusty Google search, product name, lawsuits. And you'll find out that some of Nizarol's products are breaking up your liver. They're clearly not too concerned with your health. And lastly, we got Head and Shoulders, which will forever remind me of that 90s movie about the aliens where they had to kill the aliens with the Head and Shoulders shampoo. Sorry, Gen Z, that was on VHS. So, end of the aisle looks like this. We got some raw sugar, we got some erectile dysfunction medication, and we got some private equity in orange. 
Holy damn. So, Target sucks, don't go there. Oh yeah, did I forget to mention that Target's owned by some bullshit too? So next time you're out shopping, you just remember, it don't matter who you buy from, all that money goes to the same fund managers and the same private equity billionaire banker bitches. We didn't have time to get to this fancy shit today, but we'll get there. And if you're waiting for me to tell you that native shampoo is good, I'm sorry. You shouldn't watch the next video. So that's the real shampoo aisle and a little side tangent about a Brazilian billionaire that likes to race jet skis and is now in prison. All this shit's depressing. I'm gonna go into the mountains for the weekend and run around. So I'll see you next week. Peace.